Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students uh, Here we are uh, Just uh, doing uh, Here I am doing my third lecture Video lecture of Electrical engineering, engineering course And uh, in this course uh, I am going to cover topic number 2.3 and 2.4 So before I start my uh, Lecture And uh, my Explanations of the topics of 2.3 and 2.4 I will just uh, uh, like to uh, recite or say a hadith uh, of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about a namaz. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ne farmaya ke Allah Jalla Shanu ka ishad hai ki maine tumhari ummat par panch namaze farz ki hain aur iska maine apne upar ahed le liya hai ki jo iska ahtmam karega main usko apni zimedari pe jannat mein dakhil karunga aur jo iska ahtmam na kare اس کی کوئی ذمہ داری مجھ پر نہیں تو انشاءاللہ ہم لوگ نمازی کی پابندی کر رہے ہوں گے اور اس وقت بہت ہی خاص موقع ہے کہ ہم اللہ کی طرف رجوع کریں اچھا ناو وی جسٹ سٹارٹ اوور لیکچر دیٹ از ٹاپک نمبر 2.3 دس از اے ٹیپیکل سرکٹ دیٹ وی ول بی ڈیلنگ وتھ ان دس کورس آف الیکٹریکل انجینئرنگ ہیئر وی آر جسٹ ڈیفائننگ فیو ٹرمز Uh, of uh, our interest which are very relevant to any circuit so these are nodes branches branches and loops so what is a branch first of all a branch represents a single element such as a voltage source or a resistor so this is a voltage source 10 volt it's a branch and then this is a branch of 5 ohms resistance any electrical element any single electrical element uh, is a branch for example this is 2 ohms resistor it's a branch then 3 ohms resistor is a branch and then this is a 2 ampere current supply this is a branch so other than this there is no other single element electrical element in this circuit there are just five single elements there are two power supplies one is 10 volt and the other is 2 ampere power current supply and then there are three resistors 5 ohms 2 ohms and 3 ohms so all in all this comprises of uh, this circuit comprises of a uh, five five branches the same circuit is uh, uh, drawn in a different way but the connections are com uh, exactly same as in this circuit so uh, this has been drawn just to em emphasize that where these all branches are connecting so these uh, branches connecting points are uh, for example a this is point a here this the same point a here here a power supply of 10 volt is being connected with uh, 5 ohm resistance the same is the case with this that 10 volt power supply is connecting with 5 ohms uh, uh, resistance so these two branches are connecting at uh, this point a the same way uh, these four branches 5 ohm resistance 2 ohm resistance 3 ohm resistance and 2 ampere current source is are connecting on a on a single point that is b here in this circuit the point b has been highlighted uh, just to show with a node with a, with a, with a, this uh, a circle a small circle uh, just to show that these are the the connections all in uh, this whole point is a piece of wire the same is the case with this here the all these uh, branches are connecting here and this is a piece of wire so uh, the next uh, term that we are just defining is that the point where the two branches are connecting is called a node so here are five uh, branches being connected on single node and here two branches are connecting on a single node point node a and here a 10 volt power supply and a 2 ampere current source and two resistors are uh, connecting together uh, on node c so any point where two uh, branches are connecting uh, is called a node so this circuit has been this uh, this uh, curved uh, uh, paths uh, paths have been redrawn uh, exact representation of the same circuit just to emphasize that this is a single node this point b is a single node and here it is uh, uh, not uh, very visible that this is a single node uh, students find it difficult sometimes uh, to understand that this is a single node they just take it as uh, multiple nodes uh, three nodes uh, point this point two and three so they take it as a three nodes but this is not a three node these, these are not three nodes these are single nodes and this is more visible in this form of curve paths uh, to show that this is a single node so the second term was node first is a branch 
and then there is a node and then we will just explain one more term that is loops this those loops this in the in the topic number 2.3 there are mentioned the topic title is loops so what is a loop any closed path circuit is a loop for example this is one loop in comprising of 10 volt source and 5 ohm resistance and 2 ohm resistance uh, if you start from point uh, a and then traverse this loop and go through uh, 5 ohm resistance and then you go to 2 ohm resistance and then you go all the way back to the power supply and on the point point uh, this negative point and then you just traverse it and to reach the same starting point so this is a closed path starting from a going all the way uh, from uh, point b to point c and then back to point a this is a one one loop so there is in the same way there is one more loop here starting from point c going through the uh, 2 ohm resistance reaching to the point B and then again uh, traversing this branch of 3 ohms and again coming back to the point C. So this is one more loop. It, it's also a closed path. One more closed path is uh, starting from point C because this is a point C. This whole node is a point C, node C and then going through the 3, three ohm resistance reaching to the point B and uh, going uh, through the 2 ampere resistance and reaching to the point C again so this is also a closer closed loop closed path so this is our also a loop so these are three loops in the circuit and these three loops are independent independent loops a loop is any closed path in a circuit right so this was a bit about this was a, a bit about uh, a bit of detail about uh, nodes branches and loops so there are three independent loops here i am just explaining one more term that is independent loop what does the what does independent loop means an independent loop is a loop in which at least one uh, one of its uh, component one of its the branch is a new one which is not included included in any other other close another another loop so if i just take for example a loop starting from c going through the 10 volt source and then going to point a and then taking this path of uh, this uh, top uh, connection of point b and going again back to the two ampere source and then i again reach the point c so this is also a loop but this will not be an independent loop because this does not include any of the branches which is not included in any other previous loops because we already have defined three loops here the loop one loop two and loop three so all the branches this, this we just have outer loop are already included in, in in any one of the loops so there is no new branch that's why this is not an independent loop and this is uh, will this this uh, this will not uh, be considered as a as a loop uh, we will see in uh, later discussions okay, wow how why need we need independent loops so there are here are the three loops the fourth one the outer one will not be counted as independent loop I hope this was uh, uh, clear. Now we just uh, do some examples. Uh, let me see what which example should I example two two point five. You will just doing it on your own. Uh, here it, it is just uh, required that uh, we just find out how many many branch how many nodes and branches and the loops are there. So here are uh, one branch. This is one. And the second connection where the 5 ohm resistance and 6 ohm resistance and the 2 ampere uh, current source is being connected this makes up a second second node and then this is uh, the third node which are and how many branches are there there are one two three and four branches and how many independent loops are there uh, we can just take one loop here as 10 ohms resistance 5 ohm resistance and 6 ohms resistance and the other loop can be of 6 ohm resistance and 2 ampere current source so we can also take the the outer loop 10 ohm resistance 10 volt supply 5 ohm through to then through 2 ampere but this will not be a independent loop so in the same way practice problem uh, how many branches are there uh, what they are they are asking i define the elements that are in series and in parallel so uh, what connections are in parallel these two connections uh, there are how many branches 1 2 3 4 and 5 branches how many nodes 1 2 and 3 
one, two, and three branches here, three nodes here, and uh, there are uh, one, two, and three independent loops. So, what is the meaning of a parallel connection? They are asking how many parallel connections. These two are in parallel, and these two power, su power supply and four ohm resistors are in parallel because the both the connection of this uh, uh, four ohm resistance and ten volts resistance are common connected together. So, these are are parallel. So these are in parallel. All right. So now we again now we go to uh, topic number two point four, that is Kirchhoff's laws. There are two laws, uh, Kirchhoff's law, law laws, and uh, 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 let me see. I am am I recording or not? Yes, I am recording. So it is it is fine. Okay. So Kirchhoff's law. Uh, there are two laws. One is called Kirchhoff current law (KCL), and there is another law that is called Kirchhoff voltage law that is KVL. Uh, okay. I will try to limit my uh, my presentations, my video lectures, to uh, 10, 20 minutes so that uh, it is bearable, and you can handle it in one sitting. Okay, so I already have uh, mentioned my email address in the starting slide of this video lecture. So if you have any query, you can send me the uh, the, the queries on my email address. Then I will try to make up a, another video every week uh, to answer your queries about your problems, about your queries. What, whatever problems you are having and understanding the topics and the practice problems, attempting the practice problems, I will address them in my video lecture. But for that, I will be needing your response on my email address and uh, okay what is the Kirchhoff current law the current current law states uh, uh, that uh, states that the algebraic sum of currents entering a node or a closed boundary is uh, zero you just take it as a it states that algebraic sum of currents entering a node is zero mathematically speaking this is summation i is equal to zero so whatever branches are there where from where the current is going coming or going that will make up a number n oh, right we will just take it uh, take examples for example here uh, these are the currents in the direction of the currents are mentioned here that is i1 is going towards the node and i5 is going away from the node i4 is going towards the node i3 is going towards the node and i2 is going away from the node the kirchhoff current law says uh, uh, that the algebraic sum of these all currents will be zero that is i1 plus i5 plus i4 plus i3 plus i2 is going to be equal to zero so what uh, direction what uh, what polarities we will be taking for this uh, we will be just taking one polarity positive for example coming towards the node and negative for the going away from the node so this will make up i1 is coming towards the node then i4 is going also coming towards the node and i3 is also coming towards the node so i1 plus i4 plus i3 these all will be plus and these are going from the away from the node so we will be take, uh, taking it as negative so minus i5 and minus i2 right so here it is mentioned uh, this uh, this same thing that uh, this is uh, that is, that is these are i1 is positive i3 is positive i4 is positive but i2 because are we going away from the node and i5 which is also going away from the node will be taken as negative and the algebraic sum will be equal to uh, zero this same uh, numerical can also be written this same example can also be written in in this form that all the the, the currents coming towards the node will be taken on the one side of the equation and all the currents going away from the node will be taken on the other side of the equation so it means that the total coming current coming this is the total current i1 plus i3 plus i4 total current coming towards the node is equal to the current going away from the the node so this is an alternate uh, statement of the same kirchhoff current law the sum of the currents entering a node is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the the node right so this uh, current uh, Kirchhoff current law is very important for uh, uh, subsequent uh, topics we will be uh, dealing with in this course, and we will be using this Kirchhoff current law for solving problems. 
राइट द नेक्स्ट क्रिशॉफ लॉ इज कॉल्ड क्रिशॉफ वोल्टेज लॉ के वी एल स्टेट द अल्जेबिक सम ऑफ ऑल द वोल्टेज अराउंड द क्लोज पाथ इज जीरो सो आई अगेन जस्ट बैक लाइक टू गो बैक टू द क्रिश ऑफ करंट लॉ जस्ट टू एड वन मोर डिटेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू जस्ट टेक इट दिस एज ए क्रॉसिंग और अ राउंड अबाउट ऑफ अ ट्रैफिक रोड so you can just take these all ka uh, these currents as a as a traffic so so it is very obvious and very understandable that uh, all the the cars or the vehicles coming towards a roundabout or towards a signal will be equal to all the cars going away from the signal so this is in one analogy which is very easy to understand or you can also take an analogy of uh, uh, water coming from the pipes and going away uh, to through another pipes so all the water which is coming from different sources will be equal to the all the water that is going away from that same point so this is one analogy that we normally use current is normally compared with uh, water so here again i just back go back to kirchhoff voltage law then what does it states that the algebraic sum of all the voltages around the closed path is zero so this will be understandable if we just take one example so here this is a closed path and what this what they say around a closed path so this is a closed path this is also called a loop that's why they say closed path means also loop so this is a closed path or a loop so all the voltages which are around this loop will be the algebraic sum will be equal to zero for example this is minus v1 i if i start from this uh, Uh, minus point so i will be taking it as minus v1 here it is written minus v1 and then this is plus v2 plus v3 and then this v4 and i will be taking this v4 as minus because the when i just traverse this closed path what sign i just come across that will be taken as my sign so this will be taken as minus uh, v4 and then this is v5 and i just uh, come across this plus sign first when i just tra traversing this closed path so i will take it as plus sign so minus v1 plus v2 plus v3 minus v4 and plus v5 is equal to 0 so uh, i will just try to develop an analogy just to explain that what does it mean uh, because normally a uh, voltage is considered as a as a tank and height uh, potential energy is it's a voltage is also called uh, potential difference so normally uh, uh, this is taken as height the voltage so for example if you are just uh, climbing up some somewhere and you go by a amount of 2 feet and then you just go climb more up and go up and then you just climb 3 feet or 4 feet and then you just come down uh, again and you just reach the same point again after going through some heights and some depths uh, so and jump jumps you jump from some heights and then you just climb up some heights so when if you reach the same point again what does it mean that uh, all the heights you have climbed up and all the depths depths uh, you have jumped down uh, will be equal to the heights and the falls will all be equal so that is uh, the some explanation of a uh, kirchhoff voltage law sum of voltage drops is equal to sum of voltage rises that is this is an alternate uh, explanation or alternate statement of the voltage kirchhoff current voltage law so these are the, this was some uh, explanation and i hope that i am afraid that i have run out from now now for 20 minutes already so I, in the next video i will be taking the few examples and then practice problems uh, till then uh, allah hafiz wish you all the best